Touches a card, it will change to a different suit. What if we can get the suits to cross over these cow heads? Good idea! That should freeze that cow in her cow tracks! But not for long, so keep going and fill the cards as fast as you can! Right! The sooner we do this, the sooner we can get to that castle! Start clicking on the pieces! Click! Click, I say! I can't watch! Yet I cannot look away! <laughs> Way to go, Timmy! I can't watch! Did I cannot look away? Oh, look 
You showed that cow who wears the udders around here. What can I say? I guess it was in the cards. Great pun, Timmy. Now let's see if we can find some answers. Wow, look at this place. I know Fairy World is weird, but it's never been this weird. Look at all the flying cows! You're right, Timmy. The flying cows are usually much further south this time of year. Or the rollerblading tournaments. Uh, right. Look, here comes someone. Let's see if he knows what's going on. Uh, excuse me, but... Wrong? Why nothing? Uh, what, what, what could be wrong? <laughs> Nothing's wrong. But I didn't... All right, all right, I admit it. I stole the suit from the playing card bridge. I thought it would be funny. I was young, foolish, a rebel fairy on the edge with something to prove. I'd just been fired from the only job I'd ever been good at. Ooh, were you the town angry guy? I am Quince, King Oberon's and Queen Titania's royal jester, and the funniest fairy in all the land. Ask anybody. Not so far. Uh, I don't know. He's pretty funny looking to me. Quince, do you have any idea what's going on around here? You doubt the fortitude of my funny bone? Hmm. I'll make you a deal. Let me prove to you that I'm the greatest jester in the land, and I'll tell you everything I know. Only if you promise not to hit us. I promise nothing. Deal! Uh, I'm confused. How's this work again? Okay, here we go. If we can help Quince prove he's funny, he'll tell us what we need to know. We can help him by clicking on the right moves at the right time. But you have to wait until just the right moment. When the move hits the basket, it will highlight. Couldn't he just ask us to pull his finger? Ah, I miss the simpler days of comedy. or what? Totally funny. On your next job, just maybe don't try so hard. Call it something simple, like a uh, pie in the face. Pie in the face? That's brilliant. As soon as my wand starts working again, I'll get right on it. Seize him! King Oberon and Queen Titania! You mean Fairy World really does have a king and queen? I thought Quince was just pulling our legs. No, but he is hiding behind them. They used to be the rulers of Fairy World. Now they're mostly just figureheads. Silence! One is not a figurehead. One is the embodiment of class and distinction. Mm, class and distinction. Quite. I have finished ironing my lady's royal girdle. And does his majesty require another coat of spray-on hair? Silence, Chamberlain! The royal jewel of Fairy World has gone missing. Our withering Chamberlain informs us that it disappeared right after we fired this sniveling pile of fleece knot. Oh, fleece knot. Hmm, quite. Silence! Chamberlain sees that jester! Who said that? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, look! <laughs> Flying cows! Silence! 
Consider yourselves fortunate you don't have incompetence like that to deal with. Who said that? Where am I? What's going on? Ooh, look! Figureheads! Silence, you miserable lump of earwig wax! Since you lost us the thief, now you must recover the missing jewel! Or else! Looks like we're gonna need some help on this one! Gah! You don't mean... I'm afraid so! No! Strangle. No! <laughs> Does my disturbingly toned physique refresh your puny memory, tiny fairy? Jordan, we were just on our way to see you. I know. Come with me. We have much to discuss. No! Oh no! Now what? It's Jordan's defense system. Why is there always a defense system? His TV must be affected just like Timmy's. Each television has two stations. Now click on the TV screens and they'll switch channels. Why do I feel like there's a catch? Some of the TVs are connected to each other, so they always change the TV they're connected to. Get them all switched to the correct station to get the correct channel and tell us what is going on around here. Anything you want to add, Cosmo? Ooh, so many televisions. Never mind. Timmy, but it's not over yet. Think you got another one in you? Five hundred channels and still nothing good on. Oh well, let's keep going, I guess. Not bad for being so puny. Bad for being so puny. <laughs> Congratulations, Tiny Timmy Turner. You have managed to descramble my defense systems despite your obvious physical deficiencies. Uh, thank you? You are welcome. But there is something about this sinister and quite evil looking maniacally laughing shadow that I find disturbing, though I cannot quite put my finger on it. Come with me, and I will explain. Ooh, thank goodness, because I kind of tuned out there for a second. You have impressed me, little fairies. Really? Yes. I would not have thought it possible for you to have gotten even punier since I last saw you, but you have proven me wrong! But you last saw us five minutes ago! I know! Jorkin, we need your help! Our wands went kabloom! And so did my TV! You are not the only ones! It is happening everywhere! I suspect the royal jewel of fairy world is behind this. Only it has the power to disrupt the flow of magic to the fairies' wands and high-quality entertainment to your television! Oh my gosh! The king and queen just told us the jewel was missing! I know! Thanks to my pumped-up ultra-security system, I can see everything that goes on in fairy world! You can see who took the jewel? Uh, except that. The jewel's magic is blocking my senses, but thanks to you, I did get this picture of the thief's shadow moments before the jewel was stolen. Queen thinks Quick stole the jewel, but that doesn't look like him to me. 
I will do what I can to find out who this shadow belongs to. In the meantime, you must prepare a backup plan. There is only one thing powerful enough to counteract the magic of the missing jewel. A mother's love? Uh, close. A fairyversary muffin. Take this list of magical ingredients. You must find them at all costs. I'm on it! But how do we grant Timmy's wishes without our wands? You will have to use wishing stars. They are not as powerful as wands, but they will have to do. All done! I got all the ingredients! How? 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 Internet, they're being delivered to my house as we speak. Good work, Timmy! Now we just have to pick up some wishing stars and then go pick up the ingredients. But where do we get wishing stars? There is only one place where wishing stars can be found. The Fairy Academy Trainatorium! I remember that place! It's a magical obstacle course where we fairies first learn to handle magical items. The wishing stars are grown there. Cool! I always wanted to know what Fairy Academy was like. And once I grab a wishing star, then I can just wish my way through the rest of the course. Wrong! The Trainatorium is completely wish-proof. You'll have to get through on your own. Oh no! We're doomed! <laughs> I mean, yay, Timmy! We believe in you! Gee, thanks. Well, here we are! The Fairy Academy Trainatorium! I bet this brings back a lot of memories for you two, huh? Oh my, yes! Trainatorium was one of my best subjects! I almost majored in it, you know! How'd you do, Cosmo? I ran with a tough crowd in the Academy, Timmy! Trainatorium was for squares! Oh, he cried on the first day, then Mama Cosmo wrote him a note so he wouldn't have to go anymore! Oh, it's true! There, there, sweetie! Timmy, collect as many wishing stars as you can and avoid all the obstacles in your way! Jump over them if you have to! Gotta hurry! I'm running out of time! Ow! 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 Oh no! Wanna try it again? Whoa! Hurry, Timmy! Look out, Timmy! Think about your GPA! Whoa! Whoa! stars we did it and as far as i'm concerned i just passed trainatorium with flying colors but won't you feel ashamed knowing deep in your heart that you only rode timmy's coattails to greatness without any actual work of your own nope i'm good Puny fairies, again you appear before me stinking of failure. Actually, I stink for entirely different reasons. Failure? But we got a ton of wishing stars! Yes, but in your absence, the fairyversary muffin ingredients were delivered to Timmy's house and then taken because no one was there to claim them. Hey, we're doing the best we can. We can't be in two places at once. You are right. Timmy Turner, your puny words have taught me the value of the strongest muscle of all, the heart. Really? No, we are doomed without the Fairyversary Muffin. I have managed to locate the missing ingredients, but we don't have much time. The Royal Jewel's magic is being used to alter the world's TV signals. The effects could be catastrophic. That's it. You can steal magic jewels. You can frame innocent fairies. You can even Timmy to order more flour just as I was running out. And now, from Big Bad Bakery Broadcasting, the pulse-pounding, spine-tingling, senses-shattering baking directions for banana bread! Oh, right on time. Oh, my! Knock, knock. Who's there? Gorilla. Gorilla who? Gorilla, my dreams, baby. Looking like that, cooking banana bread, that's what you are. 
I'm not sure I understand. It's a play on words, baby. I shall try to explain it to you as we celebrate our meeting in the way my people always have, by taking you to the top of a giant's wall and tossing banana peels at anyone who tries to stop me. That's an odd custom. Well, we all have our traditions. I mean, you don't see me knocking your day after Thanksgiving shopping spree, do you? sentence I never thought I'd say. And she's got the magic flower with her. Oh, if we had our wands, we could just wish you to the top of the wall. But now we'll have to find another way. Let's use the wishing stars. Go ahead, Timmy. Make a wish. I wish I could stick to walls. Neat. But I'll need something to open all those doors. And something to distract the monkeys. You've got it. We've lined the walls with monkey wrenches for the doors and bananas to distract the monkeys. Thanks, you guys. Here goes. Be careful, Timmy. Those are some seriously angry monkeys. Oop, they're the apes of wrath. Now to get to the top of the wall, save Mom and get that magic flower. With your sticky climbing suit, scaling the wall will be no problemo. Just make sure you don't get hit by falling banana peels. That's good advice in any situation. And pick up the monkey wrenches you wished for to open the gate. Once you pick one up, just put the cursor over the gate and click. That'll lob it right where you want it. You can toss bananas to monkeys the same way. Just point and click. Ah, uh, that is, as long as you've got one to toss. Good point. Keep your eye on the meter. It'll show you what you've got. You can only carry one item at a time, so if you pick up something new, you'll drop what you have. Got it! Now I better get up there and get that flower! Oh yeah! And save Mom! Hey! Remember that time when all those angry monkeys were throwing banana peels at you? It's raining bananas! Isn't that a song? I get to the top! Those bananas back at the monkeys! See how they like it! Oh, they do! And on my own wall, no less. Oh, we could have had it all, baby. Minions, a giant wall, banana bread, and probably other things, too. Good work, Timmy. You've saved your mom and sent King Ape packing. Not that your mom will remember any of it. Now that monkey will have to pick on someone his own species. And we got the magic flower. That's one step closer to saving TV. And the world, too, I guess. There are still more ingredients to go. Are aliens real? Probably not, but that won't stop another highly improbable exploration of scientific fact on Are We Alone? Aliens, huh? That'll do. What's going on? Where's 
where's that light coming from? You knew it! It's happening! The aliens! I've been chosen! It's about time! Oh yeah, now this is more like it! There's Vicky, and she's got the moon calf milk! What's she doing? She's sitting on the throne! Where everybody can see? That's disgusting! Oh, jeez. You're that foreign exchange student from Europe. Am I in Europe? You are within your very own humongous and gargantuan space palace, from which you rule absolutely everything! That's pretty much what I figured. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well... You've got Pilates at 9, a hair appointment at 10, brunch with Gorzog the Merciless at 11, and... Uh-oh, this'll be fun. The destruction of Earth by... Babysitter Death Ray! Yeah, okay. But can we move that hair appointment up? I shall pencil it in or die trying! She's gonna destroy the Earth! But that's where I keep all my stuff! For this job, I'm gonna need an invulnerable gamma suit, just like Crash Nebula's. You got it! Cool! Now let's crash this party! Okay, Timmy. That gamma suit is a good start, but getting to that moon calf milk is gonna be tough! And the death ray! Don't forget the death ray! So, what do I have to do? You have to navigate through an invisible maze. The Gamma Suit will show you where the walls are, but the batteries will run down eventually. And watch out for those rays that block your way. They'll zap you and suck out your battery power. If they run out of juice, you'll have to start again. I'll just have to pick up those spears they've left lying around for no reason. Now, to cross the chasms, just pick up a jetpack. You can only use each jetpack once, so be careful with it. Then just look for the pinball hole. That'll be your exit. It'll take you straight to that death ray. So, when I get there, I'll use a wish to take it out! Here goes nothing! These Yugopotanians are great hosts! Look, they oh, put on their good lasers for us! Back. This isn't so bad! Maybe we could install an invisible death maze in our fishbowl! Great! More battery power! Remember, you can recharge your batteries with any spares you find! Great! More battery power! Remember, you can recharge your batteries with any More spares battery you power. find! This isn't so bad. Maybe we could install an invisible death maze in our fishbowl. Keep one eye on the battery meter and one eye on the death maze, sweetie. All right, a jetpack. Don't get zapped, Timmy. That gamma suit is a rental. There's the hole. I wish I had a giant pinball so I could take out the death ray! Good job, Timmy! You destroyed the babysitter death ray! Earth is saved! Hooray, Timmy! And Vicky's flying back through the TV to wreak havoc and spread evil back home! Earth is doomed! Boo, Timmy! Oh well, no point in crying over spilled milk! Even if it is from a moon calf! And even though it's not spilled, and no one's really crying! Forget I said anything! There are still more ingredients to go! We we still need a phoenix egg, but Vicky broke the last one I could find on the internet! What are we gonna do? Wait, I remember where I saw a phoenix egg! Issue 133 of the Crimson Chain comic book! The Dark Phoenix Egg Saga! The evil H2 Olga floods Cincinnati and steals the Crimson Chain's powers with a phoenix egg!
Jake! Then there's no time to lose! Right you are, Lollipop! Um, I mean, chum! This looks like a job for... <laughs> Fantastic powers! Draining! Getting weaker! Losing ability to form complete sentences! That's right, Jin! And once I've flooded all of Cincinnati, I'll crush this phoenix egg and your powers right along with it! I could do it now, but I choose not to! <laughs> oh, cruel chin of fate! Without my powers, I feel so naked, so chinless! Never seen a crimson chin! I'll thwart H2O this plan if it's the second to last thing I do! Outstanding, faithful sidekick! Out of curiosity, what would be the last thing? Probably getting a glass of water. All the superheroing around can really take a lot out of you. By my mother's mandible, he's right! Bring me one, too! Yuck! H2 Olga's made this place a soggy mess! It's up to you to shut down her waterworks and save Cincinnati! But getting to that giant faucet won't be easy! H2 Olga's minions will try to stop you by lobbing water balls at you! You can always stop them cold with a blast from a freeze ray! But it'll only last for a little while, then they thaw out again! It's the circle of life! Hmm... I'm gonna need some crime-fighting accessories for this! My pogo stick of justice, some some rays, and I just need some crimson wings. I don't know if you can cross rivers and pools of water. You can, Jimmy. Quick, quick, and fly straight across. Now, now, let's crowd down that leaky faucet. Hmm. 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 Too many homework. Bear 
shows. Look at this place. Look, looks like the business are after, after you. I have to watch out for them. That, 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 that even for me. I'm I made mean, a magic. But what good news is, I, I think we might be able to use all, all these near near things near that dream, dream to help us. For, for instance, you, you can get them all to eat the soups. Great idea. I'll, I'll, I'll just, just switch, switch over a light cake and follow. Turn it on to get them all to follow you and turn it off. You want them to be alone. Leave them over to the suits and they'll start eating away. Clear out all the suits and you'll find the sugar. Ooh, there are air horns. I've never done an air horn I didn't like. You'll destroy a bunch of suits at once if they're close enough to you. But it's only good for one use. Wait until just the right moment and then blast them. And bad guns? They'll help you by sucking out the bolts in the closed doorways. Okay, I've got my life. Let's let her throw in some suits.
No! Don't! You can't! I wish everything was back to normal! Ah, oh, jeez! Way to go, Timmy! You really showed him the light! Yeah! Looks like you really can get something for Muffin! No! Oh. Well, did you capture the sniveling jester? Yes, sniveling, great. It wasn't the jester after all! It was the Chamberlain's shadow! The Chamberlain's shadow? Oh, that's preposterous! And it wouldn't have happened if you'd gotten off your royal high knees and did some of your own work for a change! Uh, no, no, it's not that. I enjoy working for their majesties. You know, they never admit it, but they'd be lost without me. Besides, it keeps me young. I just wish that Jester was still around. He always made me laugh. He just tried too hard, is all. One disagrees wholeheartedly. If one ever sees that Jester again, it will be too soon. He's never made one laugh once. Guys, guys, good news. My wand's working again. I can oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, looks like our work here is done. Ready to go home, sweetie? We're just in time to catch the rerun of Fresh Nebula season finale. Actually, guys, I think I've had my fill of TV for a long time. Really, Timmy? Are you serious? Not even a little. Saving the world's great, though. But what I need now is some post pounding spike tingling senses shattering escapism. Crash Nebula, here I come! Alright! Brace for impact, Timmy! It's all let up to this!